she loved this, you know. I was not keeping up with the money we owe her. She's family. She give us a bit longer when she knows we're doing our best. Yeah, and if she doesn't, we can kiss goodbye to this lot, can't we? <sighs> hey, look! <laughs> Sam Murphy, give me a fright. <laughs> They've laid <laughs> loads of them. <laughs> You've not put them in there again, have you? Well, it wouldn't be funny twice, would it? We're rich. Well, on our way to being. How'd you get them to do that? Well, you spent the night with them. Scared them into it. Oh, Sammy, love your catch your death. Work, though. Do this many every day. We'll be on our way to paying back what we owe, I suppose. Well done, Sammy, love. Is that so? Hey, guess where you're sleeping from now on. Oh, Victoria! What's up? I've got to leave for the bus in a minute. Your sister's run off with all my makeup. All I can find is that. Well, how'd you know it's her? Well, I'm assuming it wasn't Robert, Andy. Well, I could use a bit. Hey! Well, I can't find any of my school books either. Well, they're going to be around here somewhere, aren't they? It's do my head in, is this, Andy? It's bad enough moving in with your family. It doesn't matter where we are, just as long as we're together. I know. Found this upstairs. I didn't touch it, honest. That one's for you. Would we'll be writing to you. It's a solicitor. My inheritance. Oh, well, should leave that sorted. Something else you can put behind you. It's just money. Don't replace anything, does it? Well, of course it doesn't, but there might come a day you'll be glad of it. I'll be late on from college today. I've got some stupid presentation to do. Oh, that's good, love. Get you back in the swig of things. Would you like me to? <laughs> Bloody neck. Her hair's gorgeous, isn't it? It'd look better with a bit of chewing gum just above the fridge. Oh, stop it. Are you sure about getting your mum involved in the planning? Well, I didn't have much of a choice, did I? Anyway, she ain't here, so maybe she's forgotten. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, it's all right. I'm afraid I can't stay long. Oh, we'd best crack on, then. Right, so we're settled on February the 14th as the date, then. Ah, now... Uh, How about two o'clock? Um, I know I said that I could fit you in, but on reflection, I think it might be a bit too rushed. Well, it's too late. I've told everyone. It's just that it, it might be a bit of a conveyor belt. Uh, Valentine's is rather a popular date for a wedding. It's not my fault. And the other three couples have all been booked in for every year now. Any of them actually from the village? Uh, no, no, they're from the parish of St Luke's. Fine, so we take precedence, don't we? Being local, you just have to cancel someone. And who do you suggest? Well, do any of them look like they might not last very long? <laughs> <laughs> I dare say. If your service wasn't too elaborate. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, we were so hoping you hadn't forgotten. Oh, well... What have I missed? Ashley was just saying we can have any time we like on Valentine's Day. Uh, oh, how romantic. I have some calls to make, but uh, good luck with the rest of the planning. You know where to find me. Thanks. Oh, that was good of him. Oh, I don't see what the problem is. Can't he just make everyone say their vows a bit quicker? <laughs> well, that's the date set. What's next? The reception. Only we haven't got a penny to spend on it. Perhaps we could follow one of the other couples to theirs. It's hardly going to be a day to remember, is it? Well, it's all about money, love, isn't it? And you ain't got none. You know, everyone wants the best for you, Tricia. Good, because if you really mean that, you can help me plan a wedding of a lifetime. <sighs> On no money? Well, I'm prepared to make sacrifices, but I don't want second best. That's why I need you two working together to help me. Hiya. Lisa. I hope I catch you on your own. Take a seat. Never can quite get used to coming up here. Was it just for a chat? Uh, no. Look, I hate to mind you with oh, my problems, but... Well, it's been a funny old time, what with Zach disappearing across the world, but everyone's pulling their weight now. Sam's hen's laid, so a bit's starting to come in. But you haven't got the money. Well, it's not like you're the council. It was your own once. Yeah, a long time ago. Well, you've done well for yourself. No one begrudges you that. You are putting me in a really difficult position, Lisa. All I'm asking for is a bit more time. I can't give it to you. You what? You shouldn't go taking advantage of me like this. It's a business deal. It's our home! And you shouldn't go looking for favours, not just because we happen to have shared the same surname. Kane said you'd be like this. Well, Chris said you would be. But I said no. 
family means more to her than money. You said that. Well, what can I say to you? I haven't got the money. Right, OK, you can have till the middle of next week. Chris would kill me for being so soft. Soft? Me, struggling to bring up a four-year-old on my own, and you sat here like the Queen and you think you're being generous? You want to remember where you come from, young lady, in case all this doesn't last. <sighs> no, it doesn't matter who they are. If a farmer falls on hard times, you help them out. They didn't help us out when we needed them. Well, I'm sure they would have done if we'd asked them, did you? Dad's in hospital. What's wrong with doing the bloke a favour? We don't know him. This is all about you being a bit shy, then, is it? No. What, then? Come on. How's it going? Getting through it. Good. Any news of your dad? He's doing OK. I was going to nip in and see how he's getting on. Uh, is he allowed visitors? Yeah. It's not easy suddenly coping on your own, is it? Don't have much choice, do I? You don't mind if I get on? No, uh, look as if you could do with an extra hand. You're not kidding. Well, we've been talking about it, haven't we? And uh, you could have Andy for a week or two, till your dad gets back on his feet, couldn't he, son? Yeah. I won't say no. Sure you're up to it? Funny. Right, I'll uh, see you later. OK. You ever ridden one of these before? An ought to ride a quad bike. Well, you ain't touching this one. See you back at the barn. Hey. Sam. Uh. Where is some of I said? Lobster. Burning candle, were you? Oh, I was sleeping with the ends. You what? It's the only way I can get them to lay. Give or... Oh, they like it when I'm in with him. We can't have this every day, though, can we? No choice, no Sam, no eggs. Maybe if you stuck your hat in so they could still smell you. My hat don't smell. It'll just remind them. Took a photo in for good measure. When you can get a good night's sleep in your own bed. I don't know. You ought to think of something. Cos you're no good to me like this, are you? Any visitors this morning? No. No. Ah, I just saw a van outside. Did you? Hmm. Lisa's van. Oh, yeah. She just popped in for a chat. Bring the money she owes, did she? I've just got these things that I need to finish, Chris. Hasn't paid up, has she? Yes! No, but she will. No, I doubt it. Still, it's not a problem. Oh. So you don't mind that she's not got the money, then? I don't mind taking possession of the house and land now they've defaulted, no. Hang on a minute, Chris. I lent them that money to help them out. Not so you could go throwing your weight around threatening them. They knew the risks. Yeah, and that place ain't worth anything to you, so stop messing around. But the plans I've got for the land could be worth a fortune. Plans? What do you mean, plans? You won't go setting some up without telling me, would you? I'm telling you now. Pollard's factory the Reynolds house and the Dingles make one heck of a housing development. Well, you, you've got a deal going behind me back. I'm your business partner, not to mention your flaming wife. You don't do things without telling me. Nothing's signed yet. And this is how you respect me, is it? I don't know why you're getting so upset. You expect me to just kick my family out on the street for your secret little plans? I expect you to honour the deal you've made. Besides, who exactly are your family now? Right, Chris... Call the solicitor and get the notice of eviction drawn up for me, would you? Every day they stay there is going to start costing me money. Empty out the old punches for confetti? That's a good 75p saved. Well, we could always ask everyone to bring their own sarnies. I don't think that's the kind of celebration Trisha had in mind. Oh, and I suppose you know her so much better than I do. Me being her own mother. I'm just trying to help her plan a big day. Yes, well, at least I'm making some suggestions. Yes, and I'm grateful to the both of you, so please, will you stop bickering? Set the date, then? No. Well, it's about time that you made it legal, you and Marlo. Thank you, Edna. I remember asking for your opinion. This is a public house. 
Is my custom any less welcome than hers? If it wasn't for your weekly part and lemon, this pub would have gone under years ago. In my day, marriage was a sacred bond. Now they're just doing it because it's becoming trendy again. Bandler laughs you. Just come to spread a little bit of happiness, have you? No, I came because I've got a leak. Have you? And I wanted to borrow a pair of ladders. Oh, I can't have you going up with ladders at your age. I mean, it's always best having an expert opinion, isn't it? Can I have uh, a pack of beef crisps, please, and uh, whatever Edna's having? No, thank you. Cheers, Sid. I'll have another. Oh, and stick another one in there, will you, Diane? Thanks, Sid. <laughs> What's it like not having a farm anymore? Great. Get to have a light in every morning. What do you think? Break my dad's heart if this place were to go under. Work is put into it. I'd never tell him myself, but I think I'd almost be relieved. You seem to be doing your best to make a go of it. Oh, I can't let him down, can I? Always thought we'd buy this place off Tate one day. <sighs> That's never going to happen, is it? Are we going to spend the whole day chatting? Think about it. There's no future for the likes of you and me here. Everything's going belly up whether we like it or not. If you want it bad enough, you can make a go of it. Do you reckon? Let's do some work. Come on, we need to get this shifted so we can bring sheep in for lambing. Why don't you get some of your thieving mates to give you an hand? I didn't ask you to come up here, you know. I'm doing it for my dad. But, since you're here... So where's it all going, then? We'll have to make room in barn. Sure you can manage? What? Off someone who gets the kicks out of mugging girls? It was nothing to do with me. Keep some pretty strange company, don't you? Aye. Can't always choose that, can you? Mmm, I don't like the sound of this uh, damp patch on your ceiling. What do you think it could be? Well, I wouldn't like to hazard a guess, but I'll uh, give it a once-over if you like. Hold on, there. Everything all right? Yeah, we were just having a private chat. Problem with my ceiling. Oh, yeah. But everything's in hand now, so uh, no need to wait. You want to come round and have a look? No, no. I'm going. Still, two heads are better than one, I always say. You do know we don't work together anymore, don't you? Yeah, but I've always been, you know, the senior partner. More experience, you know. Yeah, but I do just as good a job, but for half the price. Half? Well, this'll be interesting. Well, you can both quote for the job. I'll go for the one who gives the pensioner the best deal. Shall we go? We received your letter this morning. Reynolds, Len Reynolds. Holgate Farm, that's the one. You say it was a cash buyer, no chain. Well, I'll have to discuss it with the family, but yes, we're definitely interested. OK, I'll talk to you later. Bye. What are you doing home? I thought you had a presentation. I couldn't face any more college. Do you know you look done in? It's too much for you, you know, college and trying to look after this place. Who are you talking to? State agent. Yeah? Ollie, we've had an offer on the house. A lot of money. How much? 250,000. Seems even more when it's written down. You want to sell this house? The house is too big for us. I know it's all I've got left of my mum. But you're cooking and you're cleaning and you're doing your college work. You're wearing yourself out, lass. I'm not moving. We might not get another offer as good as this. Forget your stupid offer. Hang on. How could you? How could you try and sell my own house without even asking me? Ollie! Come on, Sug, do not flagging, are you? No. Of I'm not. I'm gonna have to stop. Oh, thought you'd never say that. Not bad for a screw any get. You're not exactly Wesley Snipes yourself, are you? I'm starved. You're gonna feed the workers then or not? Them lads Katie saw me with. The ones that mugged her. They're not my mates, they're just people I know. So you keep saying. And they're not always as daft as that either. But thanks for not taking it any further. Come on, see if there's aught in the fridge to build you up a bit. Thank you. 
are you doing? I'm putting some of these photos in with the chickens. They have the animal rights lot onto you next. There's one of our charity here once you were a kid. Right, we'll stick it up and I'll find my darts. Hey? Hey, up! What are you two up to? Hey, she's giving us an extra week. I don't let her see you buying food. She won't want us eating until she's got paid. She's on our side, you know, Kay. Oh, do you reckon? Yeah, it's Chris you want to be worried about. Charity wants what's best for the family. Charity wants what's best for herself. I don't know why you're bad-mouthing her all the time. Oh, Sam, where am I going to put the shopping if you've got your eggs everywhere? Don't know. Look, Charity could write off that debt without even noticing, if she wanted. I am telling you, she is looking after our interests. Women's intuition. Oh, Sam, love. Stop sniffing here out, would you? Yeah. So, like I said, you've got a loose slate. You can see it there, just next to the guttering. Yeah, I'll have it done in no time, then. Any trouble and I'd come back for free. Use me and you won't have any trouble. Well, the uh, rain's got in and it's come through to the ceiling. I could quote you for the repapering as well, if you like. You? I've done it before. Well, how much? Oh, lot. 100 quid. 90. With the papering? Yeah. 80. 70. And you wouldn't have to bother with tea and biscuits. 50. Any less and I'd be paying to do it. 40. And I'll have the old job done in morning. Well? 35. Final offer. 35? You must be joking. I don't got a bit for 35 quid, love. Job's yours. I'll need it up front, you know, like for materials and that. Right. Well, you can collect it in the morning when you start. Thirty-five quid. All right. You still owe me with the van, eh? Never mind. You'll have a laugh working with it, Edna. Hiya. I don't think I'll be able to walk for a week. How day's work was it? You couldn't run us a hot bath, could you? No, I'm doing this, then I've got to finish my art project. Run it yourself. I will, when I can walk. How are you getting on? It's the first piece I've had all evening. Victoria's been dancing around to West Club Juniors for the past half hour. Seems quiet now. Did Stephen sing any more about the other night? Well, he said they weren't really his mates. Well, do you believe him? No. But I'll be earning a bit helping him out. Ah, oh, done. Now, where's my art project? And the more money coming in, the sooner we'll be out of here. Is that my art folder? No. Well, Victoria, where did you get that? Oh. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm trying to pick up some tips for Trisha's big day. Well, as long as you're not buying it, blow the entire budget. <laughs> Is anyone... Oh, I shouted, but I think they must be busy in the calf. I'll just leave the money on the counter then. Please yourself. Steph, you know how important this all is to Tricia, don't you? Well, of course I do. It's her wedding. I'm her mum. Only after what happened last time. What do you mean by that? Well, I just think we should all try our best to make sure she has the perfect day. Well, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. And who the hell do you think you are talking to me like that about my own daughter? Well, you haven't exactly been around for her that much, have you? How dare you? I'm only saying that... Yeah, well, no-one's interested. So why don't you just leave us alone? You know I've only got your best interests at heart. I think I'm old enough to know what they are. But there's too much work for both of us. We rattle around. We could get somewhere smaller and you could put some money away for when you need it. I'm not moving. All I'm asking is you think about it. You say after losing someone you shouldn't make a decision for at least six months. Make sure you're in it for the right reasons. Yeah, well, right now I can't think of a single one for staying. That why you tried to put it through without me knowing? I wouldn't do that. I just wanted to see whether the offer was genuine. It's a hell of a lot of money. This is our home. We were a family here, and no amount of money can buy that, can it? Oh, just look at it, it's ruined. It took me weeks to do that, and it's worth 20% of my coursework. I could fail my exam now, you know. I think she realised she'd done something wrong. That doesn't make my project all right again, does it? Well, can't you just rub out her bits? 
It's paint, Andy. I'm sorry. I can't carry on like this. It's just not working out. I'd rather go off and sleep in a tent somewhere. Well, I've had a word with her. I think it's just all the excitement of having another girl in the house again. Is it? I'm not sure she remembers Mum being around. Yeah. If we can just pull through the next couple of weeks. Maybe I can say I was making a statement about how I see the world through the eyes of a child, eh? <laughs> there you are. Top Max. I can see it now. <clears throat> I thought you were settled down outside for tonight. night. I'm trying an experiment. Tea's nearly ready. Omelettes. Oh, I'm going to kill those chickens. Oh, yeah, it's only me. Get out. You are not welcome here. I've come to do you a favour. Oh, I doubt it. Hang on a minute, Kane. Let's hear what she's got to say. Why? She's just Chris Tate's little messenger and we all know what he wants. I don't think you do, Kane. What is it? All that stuff I said about keeping the deeds. I didn't mean it. They are. Told you she's one of us. But Chris did. I'll let you give us stuff about any of us. Yeah, but you could twist him round your little finger. Yes, sir. He's taking action to have you all evicted. He what? I've done everything that I can. How could you? It's not always easy for me up there, you know. Oh, sleeping your way into all that money. I tried to protect you, Lisa. And now he's going to chuck us off our land? Well, he can, can't he? Well, how am I going to explain this to Zach? He comes all the way back from South America and finds us living in some little council flat in Otten. Where are you going? Say to chickens. Look, Lisa, there is one chance. What? Well, we can hope that Pollard and the Reynolds don't accept his office. He's buying up the whole place. Oh, so that's why I was sniffing round the factory. I don't know, Lisa. He's had this worked out from the start. He knew we wouldn't sell, so he's gone us out of our ass and you've gone along with it. I had no idea about this. Oh, and you expect us to believe that? I bet it was your idea in the first place. You're never happy, are you? You always want that little bit more. Hey. Get out. Lisa, listen to what I'm saying. Listen. I said, get out. And the next time you come round here, I won't be held responsible for what I'll do. This is what you've wanted all along, isn't it? Get out. Get out, you flaming traitor. Just get out, can't you? Get out! 